What is up guys, COD Gameplay here and welcome to the first episode of a new series called The MOAB Show. And in today's episode, well, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get an MOAB. So what I want you guys to do is copy this exact class or you even use your favorite primary. Go Everything else go exactly like I have. After that, you're going to want to run into a kill confirmed game mode. And the reason why I say kill confirmed is because, well... Kill confirmed is a 6 on 6 and chances are you're not going to be able to see a lot of camping because the objective of the game mode is to get tags and disable tags and if your team gets a 65 well then you win so people are trying to get those tags as, as hard as they can and I'm going to be playing strategically to get those kills based around those tags so you notice when I kill people um, don't mind the dust that's right at the very beginning but you notice when I actually kill people, I'll sometimes go for their tags. At other times, I'll look on the radar, see where my teammates are, and see if they can actually reach those tags. And even sometimes, I'll kind of camp the tags. I'll notice where they are, and I will just, uh, I'll just sit there, wait for the enemy team, because I know that they'll be coming after those tags, because that's what the whole game mode's about. I wait for them, I kill them, then I now have two tags lying on the ground, and I can get those instead. And so, this game mode is really strategic, and if you play it correctly, you can do absolutely amazing. And so, in this game, you notice how I'm using a SCAR, and the reason why I'm using a SCAR is because this SCAR, personally, is my favorite gun in the game. It has massive amounts of damage, and it has a crazy clip size. And so, with that combined insaneness, this makes for a beautiful gun. When you're choosing a gun for going for an MOAB, you want to choose a gun that can that can go short range, that can go long range, and that can come in handy for in any situation. So a SCAR, perfect example of that, an ACR, another perfect example, or an M4A1, another perfect example. All of them low recoil, so you can shoot long range per very, very well, and they have okay damage, so you can kill those people short range. Now, sometimes you're in a little bit too short range combat, and so what you do then is use the FMG9 Akimbo. This gun is absolutely outstanding, okay? Think of a SMG, put it akimbo, and just take off a little, little bit of damage and add some clip size. I'm serious, the FMG9 Akimbo, I think, should be a, should be a primary. Ever in a close quarters combat, you're going to be beating them 99% of the time. It is better than the G18 Akimbo from Modern Warfare 2, and it has, because it has more damage, has a, just about the same clip size, and it's just, it's just a beast. I want you guys, right now, if you do not already have the FMG Akimbo, go get it right now. It helps you so much you don't even realize. One thing that you guys really notice when I'm playing is that uh, I'm using a silencer on my gun. Now, in Modern Warfare 2, I never really liked running the silencer all that much, but in Modern Warfare 3, I think it is very, very important when you're running an MOAB to actually use a silencer. The reasoning? Well, because people are going to be coming at you non-stop if you don't have a silencer. They see you on the map, and they're going to be like, oh, the guy's right there, he keeps on getting kills, let's go after him. Sooner or later, you're going to have four people constantly going after you. But then again, when you have silencer, people are only going to be coming after you to where you actually were. They're going to be trying to revenge kill you. And now, that's why I change positions whenever I get a kill. I get a kill, I move. I get a kill, I move. And I change my position because I know when you're getting this many kills with your gun, they're going to want to kill you and revenge kill you. And so, if you don't move, you're going to die. Just straight up, you're going to die. And so... Also, another thing that you notice is how I'm moving around the map. I'm moving around the map in an outside formation. I never really go in the very inside. I just stick to the edges of the map, and I always stay behind cover. I use the cover to my advantage, and it really does help. If you ever come into one person, two people, and you have cover, I always like to reduce the lines of sight that I have with them. And I th that, okay, watch this. I actually didn't mean to press Y and shoot. But thank God I got that kill. And now this person, I know exactly is someone coming on the right because I hear him. I shoot this guy and someone else will shoot at me. So what I do, I go around. He thinks that I'm still there and I kill him from the side. Killing people from the side and killing people from behind 
is what you're going to have to do if you want to get a nuke. You cannot get 24 kills all one-on-one -on -one gunfights where you're facing them and they're looking at you, they're shooting at you, you're shooting at them. It's just not going to happen. You're going to have to flank around, get behind the enemy team, and you're going to have to get kills without them even seeing you. Get behind their spawn and stay away from your teammates because wherever your teammates are, that's where they're not going to be. Always keep a eye on your radar because you want to know exactly where your teammates are. Knowing where your teammates are will eventually lead to knowing where your enemies are and in turn you'll get massive amounts of kills if you can play it correctly and strategically. Trying to pick off one person at a time and not trying to hit groups. Another thing that you notice is that I am actually using this specialist kill streak. Now this is the most important part when you're going for an MOAB because well the specialist kill streak basically makes you a invisible monster. Okay, so the kill streak or the perks that I run are sleight of hand, quick draw, and sit rep, all pro. And so I can aim down sights fast, reload fast, switch my gun fast, and hear people very loud. And so when I use scavenger, assassin, and blind eye, I usually use scavengers number four, assassins number two. The reasoning, well. Um, I'm gonna kill two people and I'm gonna get assassin now I'm gonna be invisible on the UAV and that'll help me loads I will go around the map. I have a silencer and I'm invisible to UAV. What else can you want? Well at the ki sixth kill streak that I have is blind eye that makes it so you cannot get hit by enemy air support obviously that doesn't include airstrikes but it includes all like helicopters and stuff that'll actually shoot you and so Blind Eye combined with Assassin basically makes you invisible and then I have Scavenger on there well because you do not want to run out of ammo. You have a good gun in your hand, you have a silencer, you have a scar, you do not want to be picking up very many other guns if you don't need to. And so with the FMG 9 Akimbo and that you're going to be destroying kids all day, every day and that is why this setup is so, so amazing. And I suggest everyone use this because it will turn a, let's just say, a 13 kill streak, honestly, into at least a 17, 20 kill streak. Way better than any other kill streaks you're going to use from support or assault if you're going for a uh, high score. But, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, please leave a like and maybe a favorite because I think this video is pretty informative and you guys could be using it in the near future to uh, go back on it and rewatch it to know exactly how to get that MOAB. Tomorrow or later today I'll be posting the world's fastest MOAB and that is by me. It is done in 2 minutes, 38 seconds and 14 milliseconds from the first kill to the last kill. So I'll be putting all the tips that I used in this video to work and I'll just show you that it does work so far in this game in five days I've gotten five MOABs and I think I can keep up that streak if I just keep on doing exactly what I'm doing now and using good guns with silencer and everything that I said so anyways thanks so much for watching guys I hope you like it and uh, I'm Cod Gameplay signing out peace